Hi, it's Carl here from selfsufficienthub.com and we're out foraging again and it is December 2019 and we've come across this wall which is just laden with a fantastic wild edible. This is navel work. Lots of edibles that you find in foraging videos or that people talk about in foraging books, they're edible but that doesn't necessarily mean they're palatable. They're not the sort of thing you'd buy in a supermarket if you saw them there. But these, on the other hand, you'll find these in really high-end restaurants. Um, this is a really sought-after gourmet food. If I get you in there to have a bit of a closer look at the plants. So they're called navel wort. Another name for them is penny wort. Um, I think they've got a couple of other names, which I'm not familiar with, sorry. Um, you can see down here the smaller ones, when they come out, are almost circular. And then as they get older, they develop the the ruffled edge. Um, this is exactly the habitat that I would normally find them in. Um, this is an old uh, garden wall and as you can see they're just they're just growing out from the, the cracks between the stones. So you can find them in natural rocks um, but you can also find them on tree stumps and places like that where they get a little tiny foothold in a crack somewhere um, but I find by far this is the, the the most common habitat in which you'll find them um, now much like blackberries if you've done much blackberry picking you'll know that you can pick from a blackberry plant and it'd be delicious and then you can pick from another plant a few meters away and it not be the same flavor at all these are these are much the same and the flavors also change throughout the season um, so it's always worth doing a little taste test before you go picking a load, which, which I'm going to do right now. And uh, yeah, so it's a lovely, oh, lovely flavor and a little bit aromatic, really a little bit sweet, but really, really pleasant. Um, so these make a wonderful accompaniment to salads or a, uh, you know, a garnish, and they really are a great wild edible. They are a perennial succulent, so they'll come back in the same place every year. Um, and like I said, it's December now, they're available pretty much all year round. So the only lookalikes I can think about aren't ones that you need to worry about, really. There's a, a toad flax that could grow in this environment, but again, that's edible. And there's uh, nasturtiums, but you wouldn't find them growing out of a wall really very often but again they're edible these ones here like i say it is december so they've probably spent a lot of the energy that they've been conserving and are in the process of spending more so they're quite flat but quite often they're they're thicker um like i say they are a succulent and they do have like a gel inside much like an aloe vera um and also like aloe vera they've got a lot of medicinal qualities um so have a look online and see what you See what you can find there, but there's there's lots of information out there. But overall, they definitely qualify as a great, great foraged item for the table. So I'm a little bit further up the same wall, and here you can just see, I just wanted to show you, these are the leftover flowers from this year. I didn't see any of those on the, the patch that I picked down there, so I'm going to try a little bit of these now, and I'm expecting these to be a little bit more bitter. Let's see. Yeah, so these are definitely more bitter where they flowered. So much like a lot of your vegetable garden crops, you know, once something's gone to seed, the flavor deteriorates strongly. So there you go, navel wart. It's a fantastic edible.